Instead, he went to Arabia. Just a couple words, and yet it has caused all kinds of people all kinds of consternation. Acts 9, 17 through 22. And Ananias went his way and entered the house, and laying his hands on him, he said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on the road as you came, has sent me that you may receive your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately there fell from his eyes something like scales, and he received a sight at once, and he arose and was baptized. So when he had received food, he was strengthened. Then Saul spent some days with the disciples at Damascus. Okay, here's where it's kind of funny. He's in Damascus, and then it says, Immediately he preached the Christ in the synagogues, that he is the Son of God. Then all who heard were amazed and said, Is, not, is this not he who destroyed those who called on this name in Jerusalem? and has come here for that purpose, so that he might bring them bound to the chief priests. But Paul, but Saul increased all the more in strength and confounded the Jews who dwelt in Damascus, proving that Jesus is the Christ. Okay, there seems to be no room in what I just read you in Luke's account in Acts for Paul's words here in Galatians. He said he went down to Arabia. However, Luke was concerned with Paul's ministry in a particular way. Recording this trip to Arabia was not a necessary part of that. The trip to Arabia would fit logically in the middle of verse 19 of Acts 9. So I'm going to read you that. Verse 19, so when he had received food, he was strengthened. Goes to Arabia. Then Saul spent some days with the disciples at Damascus. And then from there, he goes out and preaches in the synagogues. It's the only logical place that his visit to Arabia will fit. But Luke is not worried about that. He's concerned about Paul's ministry and what is happening with the establishment of the church. So everything that Paul did down in Arabia is just simply brushed over. <clears throat> now, there are other views on this. Don't get me wrong. There are people that say, well, it happened here, it happened there. But this is what I see as the best view of that particular issue, is that it fits the account. If you just take the notion that Luke is talking about the ministry, and you go from there. Okay, so understanding that as Paul did not confer with flesh and blood, as he said, it is probable that he immediately felt his calling to go to Arabia and then return after that. He's not conferring with flesh and blood. Well, where did he confer? He conferred with the Lord. The Lord somehow, as he did throughout the book of Acts, imposed or came to Paul, or maybe in a dream, or however he related to Paul, I need you to come to Arabia. I'm going to teach you something entirely new. You're going to be the herald of a message that the people of Israel have not even imagined, and that's that the Jews will, I'm sorry, the Gentiles will receive Jesus Christ, and the message will go out to them prominently. Now, what's his name? Peter, I, by this time, has probably already spoken to, uh, uh, what's his name, Cornelius, or not Cornelius, Ju uh, Cornelius. Cornelius, yes, okay, in Acts chapter 10, etc., so they had an idea that Gentiles would be grafted in, but they didn't understand the scope of it. Paul was the one to get that message. You got something?